All right, I went out and found some turkey feathers today. I only lucked up on two of them, so <laughs> this is pretty hacked together. But uh, I'm doing these at Lattle Darts. I've been using uh, duct tape fletching. I wanted to try something a little more natural, so I found some river cane. It's got a flex to it that those uh, pine darts I've been building don't have. A lot thinner. I'm using the fat end for the, for the dart side. That's what you want to do, the weight of it, the physics of it, it's going to carry better. I've got these turkey feathers, split them in half. Done a real botched job here, but I want to show you the difference between throwing an unfletched pole and a fletched pole. As you can see, I have just attached this at three points, heavy on both ends, and just one little slip in the middle so that it would hold on there. We'll do a better job of it later. And I'm using my Australian style. I think it's called a Woomera at Laddle. So we're going to throw a couple of these and you're going to see the difference. This one's got fletching. I've got some others that I've straightened out that don't have fletching yet because I didn't find enough turkey feathers. Well, it hit the top. We'll do that again in a second. Here's two more. We're going to use the narrow end. Throw the heavy, heavy end as the point. See how it goes end over end? So one more. End over end. Now let's go get our good dart. The point to this little exercise is to just show that no matter how little time you take, even a botched, just really ugly job, I haven't trimmed these really or anything, how much it helps and how much it improves the accuracy. Well, almost got the target, landed a little low there. So, flat is as dirty as that looks, as rough as that looks. It gets us to the target. Oh, a little high, but you see how straight it flies. So don't hesitate to try. That's the that's the first that little dart I've ever fled for turkey feathers. It, it took five minutes, ugly job, and yet it's going roundabout to the target. These others, there's no way. So take take a second, do it, even if it's ugly, do it anyway. And you're going to improve. You're going to improve your chance of hitting the target so much. So, my next uh, adventure is going to be scouring the woods for turkey feathers. While I'm here, I might as well show the difference between these were the first darts I w was making because I had a two by four in my workshop, and uh, it's what I had. And I made this heavy, heavy end so it wouldn't go too far in a target. But there's no flex to this material. It's pine. It's uh, three quarter inch. Pined. I've, I've, I've cut in strips and then sanded as round as I could and the fletching is duct tape and I did a video on how to how to do the duct tape I've used some of that some pipe for, for uh, the knock to set into my um, addle addle now this this is natural material it's green green river cane that I, I cut yesterday but I, I held it had some bends in it so I held it over a fire and I just bent it into shape and got it got it relatively straight. You can look down there. See, it's relatively straight. It's not perfect. This pine's a heck of a lot straighter. But what the pine doesn't have is the flex. This flex really helps the arrow with accuracy and also um, the wobble that it gets in the air actually works the head into a target. This one doesn't have a head at all. I haven't put any kind of foreshaft on it. So we're going to throw both of them, just as an addendum to that uh, last little clip I shot where I was showing the difference between fletched and unfletched. Now I'll show you the difference. These are both going to fly pretty well, but this is the more natural material. I haven't used any duct tape on this one. Uh, found the turkey feathers today. So this was all put together pretty quickly. We'll throw it. I've already thrown it a few times for you. We'll throw it again. Let's see here. Ooh, close. Almost got it. Now we'll throw this pine one. Ooh. Went over the target, but they both flow, throw pretty straight. I'll do it one more time. Okay, let's throw the workshop one now here first, this pine one. Ooh, got it. It even went into the styrofoam. Even with that big old thump head on it. Let's see if I can do as well with this one. Just above it, just above it. They're both pretty accurate. 
I'm still committed though to using the natural materials, so I'm gonna, like I always do, I start in my, my driveway and in my workshop, and then I, I try to emulate it with what I find in nature, so we're getting there. Next step would be, uh, well, we're gonna make those uh, fletchings a little prettier, a little nicer. We're gonna perfect that, and then we'll go to making uh, four shafts for the, for the arrows, for the, the, the darts.